Denton Community Television, operated by the Mayborn School of Journalism, the University of North Texas. Hi, I'm Mike Miller and welcome to The Other Side, the show I've created to bring local musicians on and to uh, let them showcase their talent and tell about their backgrounds and play music for us. And I've been very fortunate to have had some very great guests on here here lately. Most recently we had George Neal on the show and, and the show's still airing. I hope a lot of people check that out. The show is streamable. It's on Vimeo also and um, it's the Denton Community Television uh, that you can Google or The Other Side, Mike Miller, or um, any of the particular shows. George Neal, we've had Eric Keyes on here, um, Guitar George, Joe Tucker has been on here last year, and um, a lot of other great people, and I appreciate everybody who's been here, Matt Dunn. And um, today I have Timothy Knighton. Yeah, Timothy, thank Timothy you for being here. Appreciate, appreciate you being here. Thank you. And um, I think the music scene consists of a lot of different um, elements, you know, and, and there's so much going on in a, in a big metropolitan area like the Dallas-Fort Worth area, the North Texas area. And um, um, there are those musicians who play at clubs and cafes and things like that. And, and I've seen you around up on the square. You, you, you hang around on the square sometime and uh, you play your guitar out in front of the coffee houses. and. Uh, yeah, um, that it's kind of an odd thing, I guess, but uh, really, like, I just do that because it's the best place for me to, yeah, out amongst people is like, yeah. the best place to, you know, yeah, really get that vibe. I yeah, like it. yeah. Fun. You're from uh, New Mexico, were you saying? No, actually, Arizona. Arizona, okay. I always yeah. get those two states mixed up. But. Yeah, it was a small <laughs> town in Arizona called Wickenburg. Oh, really? Mm -hmm. You went to high school there? Yeah. You were involved with music in the high school. Yeah, it was. Um, it was actually a drum major one year. And, uh, oh, really? Yeah, yeah. Um, but yeah, it was uh, percussion, and then I, I bounced a, like around the brass section when I was younger. Oh, really? And then yeah. when I got into high school, it was all percussion. Yeah. And, yeah. Yeah. So. And you uh, you played drums for for some people in uh, in high school, like drum set and stuff like that. Yeah, um, th that was like. Pretty much my main instrument. Oh, really? It still pretty much is my main instrument. Yeah. Um, but yeah, I played um, for some metal bands and oh, really? just like yeah. I played for a church like most of the time. Yeah. Really? Yeah. Yeah, that was like a steady thing. Yeah. 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 You played at a church or on Sunday morning you played on stage. Yeah. 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 And um, percussion and drum set. And that's where I learned most of my. You yeah. Know, Technique, I guess. Or That's skill. a good, good learning environment for sure. Yeah, absolutely. The, that particular church was actually pretty um, well known for their music too. So. Oh really? Yeah. So I, I got a really good education. That was in Arizona. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Wickenburg, Arizona, Mount Hope Assembly. Oh really? Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Um, and when did you start playing guitar? Um, okay, I started playing guitar after I <clears throat> left Arizona and I, I made my way to Louisiana. Yeah. Um, in this roundabout way. And um, I was in Lake Charles and I didn't have a drum set. It's not something that you're just going to throw on your back and carry around with yeah, you. Yeah, yeah. So um, what I ended up doing was like my friends had guitars laying around and I was like, I really want to I really want to play music right now and have nothing to do with it. All right, let's figure this instrument out. And then after a while, it just started coming, you know. Yeah, yeah. yeah. That's and, the best way to just dig in and, and try to figure out what's going on. Yeah, and see, another thing about playing up around, like up around Jupiter House is yeah. that you, you end up, like, finding a lot of people that just want to teach you things, you know. Yeah. And, and Which is great. It's like, you know, you're, you're getting this education with just by, you know, being around. Yeah, <laughs> and it's, yeah. Pretty cool, yeah. I've, but I've had a lot of people te to teach me a lot of new techniques, and it's been great. Yeah, yeah. yeah. There's so many different kinds of people. The Denton has a really rich uh, social environment, it seems. Yeah, and that's what I love about this place. Yeah, yeah, to be such a small town, but yeah, it's great. Never know who you might see. Yeah. So you started writing songs and. Yeah, well, I, I'd been writing for a long time, and I was I was trying to write music as a drummer. 
course that doesn't work, you know. <laughs> and uh, almost like rap. Maybe. <laughs> yeah, I, I guess. I, no, I was just writing songs, and then friends were using them, and we were just doing them here and there. And I was seeing like you know, background parts and different things if I could while yeah. playing the drums and just different things like that. And um, a little bit later on, I ended up, um, when I started playing guitar, I, was, I, I learned how to, you know, write a melody and all of that. And yeah. Put two and two together and work it out. Who were some of your main influences, bands and artists that you liked? Um, well, I guess that, that's kind of a loaded question because when I was young, like my dad got me into a bunch of old styles of music. Oh you know? really? Yeah. yeah. And like I grew up on Jim Croce and um, uh, the Eagles and Creedence Clearwater Revival things of that nature. And mm. then my mom listened to country, so that yeah. was like something that was constantly on. Yeah. And then um, further on down the road, like I got into you know alternative styles of music because I was you know kid at that time. That was what was going on, and you know that picked up. And then, but like. I think for my music, like directly, things like um, the Deers and uh, with Jim Croce, of course, because acoustic style and I he really was love, good, yeah, yeah, wonderful. And then um, Bob Dylan, of course, and then uh, actually Kimya Dawson, she's from uh, the Moldy Peaches. Oh really? And uh, yeah, she was featured in a lot of different things. Like I, I kind of fell in love with that. I think I had a small crush on her. Or something. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and I just like. That's what actually what made me want to like do it because I was like, you know, it's not that hard, right? <laughs> Try it out and do it. Well, you have a lot of talent in your soul, you know, and just you, you take in, yeah, yeah, observe, and then it comes out creatively through you. Yeah, all, yeah. all people do that. It's, yeah, it's a wonderful yeah, thing. Yeah, and I mean, just to see the diversity of what like what comes out of somebody that you wouldn't expect is amazing. Yeah, yeah. Uh, do you do art and drawing too, or things like that? No, um, I I did when I was younger, and it would it was something to do when your teacher was boring, but it was not something to do as like a you know like a sit down practice. Yeah. <laughs> it was just like you know, okay, yeah, yeah, let's draw some right now. Yeah, but are you taking classes at the universities here these days? Or no, I'm actually at NCTC. Oh really? And, oh yeah. Yeah, yeah, and. Uh, that's that's going great. Yeah, well, that's good. Yeah. What are you majoring in? Um, right now, psychology. That's, really? That's my that's where I'm directed. Yeah. And, um, and it, it's fun. There's a lot of psychology and songwriting, lyric writing. Yeah. Yeah, there can be. Yeah, yeah. especially like especially singer songwriter style music. It's usually tends to be geared towards people and and uh, emotions and different things. Well, music in general is geared towards emotions and things like that. But I don't know. I guess yeah, especially with the stuff that I write. I guess. Yeah, yeah. Do your songs just kind of um, come to you at any time, or can you make yourself write a song? No, no. It, it the. The music has to be there. Like well, usually, what I'll do is I'll I'll start with this melody that I've been working on, and it, earlier on it came with the things that I was like learning. Yeah. So I would learn some things, and then I would like, oh, this works this way, and and that's playing how some of the best some cover stuff. Songs yeah. And and, no, not even cover songs. I would just like hack away at just like certain things that people showed me. Yeah. And then as soon as I like would like get it <laughs> down. I would find something to fit over it, and then I would end up writing a song, or I'd just find something. You know, you find the little lick or a few things that just fit together and work it out, and eventually you have a song. Yeah. And um, I, I, inspiration for lyrics, I, they just, I guess, kind of come. Yeah. Yeah. Like words that rhyme a certain yeah, metric or something that, like sometimes that. Sometimes they don't even rhyme like to the literal definition of what rhyme scheme is, but like sometimes they just. Fall into place and yeah. just work it out. I guess I, I don't know. It just happens. What do you think about the current state of the music industry overall, like globally? Globally, I think it's that it's so flooded and it's so diverse that really, like, I don't think, I don't know. It's not something I don't think you're gonna make money directly at, but it is fun. Yeah. And I yeah. mean, that's really all I can say for it. I, I, I mean, I couldn't expect that. I mean, if you're talking about like. Economically, financially, well, like, one thing. I mean, but, just the, the sounds the, that, that, that are coming that, out that nowadays. Toward, I'm in yeah. love with a lot of it, like um, Fleet Foxes and you know, like a lot of the independent things that are like. Uh, I'm I'm a nut for acoustic stuff. 
Yeah. But like, um, do you like bluegrass? Fall, yeah, I love bluegrass. Really? I, yeah. I used to go to the um, Wickenburg Bluegrass Festival every year. Oh, really? Yeah. Oh, it was just one of the best things ever. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I love bluegrass. And um, another thing that like made me fall in love with bluegrass was. Um, the O oh Brother Where Art Thou soundtrack. Yeah, yeah. That stuff was so good. Yeah, that Old was Old Soul and stuff like that, and it's just mixed up. Yeah, you know, that was it. really a successful movie. Yeah, it was. Yeah, it was. But, um, yeah, like, I guess, you know, in general, I just like a lot of, you know, acoustic, folky stuff. And, How about synthesized? And that's what Do you think that's... Synthesized music? I don't, like, I, I like to go out and listen to, like, certain things that are just playing while I'm having conversations. Yeah. But, it, and then that's where, like, synthesized music comes from. There are some artists that are, like, they write songs, like, um, like was it, uh, Mike Snow or Mika Snow or whatever his name is. I, I like his stuff, and I yeah. like some people, but it's hit and miss. Yeah. Definitely. Yeah. Like a dubstep and trance. Or... Yeah, that's the type of stuff that I like to go out and just listen to, and listen to while I'm having a beer or something. Yeah. You know, or, um, Who are or some of the were... major artists in that field these days? I guess it's all about Skrillex and like dubstep. Uh, and yeah, that's cool. I, I mean, it, and it's so generalized and it all seems to like bleed into each other and sound the same that I just. I, that's why it's it's like background music. I mean, are there certain major artists doing yeah. dubstep these days, or? Yeah, um, or I, I wouldn't even like, know who they are. That's yeah, how like I yeah. Mean, just yeah. You hear this stuff like in coffee houses and things like that. Yeah, but. sometimes yeah, a lot of people, especially in Denton, there there were a few venues that actually had dubstep nights. Oh really? Yeah, yeah. yeah. That, and that was kind of cool, you know, like yeah. get off of work, go do that. Yeah. And dance a little. Mm -hmm. I like to dance. I like yeah. to cut a rug. <laughs> yeah. Something with a good feel that grabs a hold of you. Oh yeah, definitely. What is what do you what do you think uh why do you think some songs become big number one hits? What what is it about those songs? Um every song is different. Yeah, like every song yeah. that's a hit is a different it has that one thing. Yeah. Like um there's certain songs like a certain singer with his particular voice or her particular voice hitting a particular note sometimes can just like react something inside you and I think yeah. that's what makes hits. Yeah. I think it touches like a emotion that um, society in general is feeling at that moment. Yeah, kind of a and, universality type yeah, thing that exactly. a lot of people can relate to. Yeah, yeah and, and like that's what a lot of writers when they write, they write, try to write to general types of people I guess that that like that type of music, yeah, yeah, and like, which is great, yeah. But then there's those ones that write this like universal, you know, yeah. thing, and it's just like, all right, and everybody can get to it, yeah, and yeah. It's just like um, the song that keeps coming to mind right now is uh, somebody that I used to know by Gautier, and really? when he hits that high note, yeah, there's it's just like there's something that wrenches in you, and it's just like yes, yeah, I love it, yeah, I love it, very moving, yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. yeah, definitely. Well, I appreciate you sharing all that with us, and uh, we're going to come back and have you play some songs. I appreciate you being here very much. Absolutely. Thank you. And thanks for watching, and stay tuned, and uh, we'll have Timothy play some music for us. In them northern hills where no one goes, in them northern hills where no one goes, so I'll be your willing hostage if you'll be my shotgun. We will make like old timey gangsters while they've got us on the run. Are you ready for better days? We're on Moonshine, Louisiana. Dodge those coppers in the woods. Swim life sea on ahead of her as we stop and sell our goods. Oh, let's hide away, let's hide away in a place with no turnstiles. Let's hide away in them northern hills where no one ever goes. In them northern hills where no one goes. Swear to God we won't be found. And there's one horse tied, you know, Ma and Pa, they don't know it quite like we do. Swear to God we will be free. There's two men, a military army. Oh, my pa, they don't know it quite like we do. Let's hide away, let's hide away in a 
place with no turnstone. Let's hide away, let's hide away in the northern hills where no one goes. My, we are sweetheart for Peyton Revolution. This song is called Mary This song is called God Save My Queen. This one was written for my mother and my father. I don't know, you'll yeah. figure it out. <laughs> it's their little story in a nutshell. Times and poverty, my love. No one could chastise the people who we have become. You know you hold your fist tighter than anyone, and your heart is equally as hard to pierce. To making light of situations so so close to the soul, and deflecting all appreciation and all the words we use to switch each other from hot to cold. You know. I can see dear, we grew like trees dear through the weeds, the stones and the clay. I'll fight dear for better nights dear than the ones we've seen in our past days. Ooh, God said my queen, all I want is her to be is happy all the same. One cigarette. I know sometimes it is hard to speak wise when these hearts are filled with shame. Oh, God's in my queen. God's in my queen. Oh, God's in my queen. Oh, my queen. Can he man is Are you ready for better days, dear, the ones in which I'll hold you so close to my soul? I'll warm up that heart from start to start and never again, ever let it grow cold. Trying times say when I take us in our vain efforts spin by the bound. They will never make us any more than equal, dear, so tied together's where this heart will be found, you know. I can this see, dear, we grew like trees, dear, through the weeds, the stones in the clay. I'll fight, dear, for better nights, dear, than the ones we've seen in our past days. Oh, God's in my queen, all I want is her to be um, is happy on the same. I know sometimes it is hard to speak wise when these hearts are filled with shame. God save my queen. Oh, God save my queen. God save my queen. Oh, my queen. Queen of hearts. Help us. My eyes.
Candyman is calling for every boy and girl. Yes, the G Funk and the Yale are bringing in the crowd. All this time, sucking me in for the last time. Seem like nothing to live by as we walk for something to live by. All these words that live in if me in this universe as energy may my mark on the world. And